This episode of Quite Frankly was made possible by our friends from MacFun. Great photo editing software for Mac. Go to our special MacFun community website for exclusive deals just for you guys. Welcome to this episode of Quite Frankly. In this episode, a very simple tip for Lightroom importing. Now, we all know Lightroom, right? This is where our images live. This is where you create your smart albums. You can do some retouching and export, of course, to your favorite plugin and Photoshop. Now, how do you make sure that you keep track of your images? You have to, of course, give images a name because now I'm importing some images I just took and you see those names doesn't make any sense because this isn't, of course, person DSC. This is actually the raw file from my camera. So when I import, I have to rename those files. Now, a lot of people will, of course, use the name of the one they portrait, uh, the one they took a portrait of, and, of course, do a date and a year. Now, when you do a lot of shots, like for example, you empty your iPhone, you have several dates. Now, it's not possible, of course, to look for every image on which date it was shot. So why not let Lightroom do that work? Now, if you look here, you see file renaming. And of course, I want to rename my files when I import those files. So that's always on. And you can use a template. Now, I use a custom setting template. And let's see what I do. So I go to edit. And what you see is I use a custom text, a sequence, number of number, date and month in the form of date, the day, and year. So in other words, month, day, and year. And of course, you can change this. If you don't want to use the sequence, you can very simply take away the sequence and just say, for example, okay, I just want numbering. I just want... Let's say import one. Of course, you can place that here. And let's do it like this. And you can drag that to this location. And then you see that my file name is now untitled September 1st, 2016, number one. Sorry, September 6th, number one. If you want a space between there, you very simply go here and you add some spaces. Or if you want a minus. There you go. It looks way better. Now, of course, you can also say that we want zeros or we simply want one. And in this case, I think this is great. So now I have my import number. I have the date, the month, September. I have the day, 06. And I can also choose, of course, to do many other things like you see here. But this is what I like. And of course, the year. Now I say done. And this is my template I'm now going to use. The only thing I have to do is now give my custom name. And this is actually my portrait project. So let's give that name. And now the only thing I have to do is go to my hard drive, go into my folder where I want everything, and say import. And there we go. Now, if you have a lot of files on different dates, the cool thing is... You just give it a name. Let's say I'm importing all my iPhone shots and there are like 300 or 4,000 or a gazillion images on there. The only thing you have to do is type in the name, for example, backup iPhone and use that same template and the computer will actually determine the date and the day and the year it was shot on. So this is a really cool tip if you want to keep track of your images and you don't want to do a lot of work.